I've got my tea, I've got my book, let's get started. Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to let you know that I am whispering because I have family members who are asleep very close to me and I don't want to wake them up. But this is the first, almost the first day of the Reading Rush Readathon. It is actually 11.53 and so I am just finished preparing all the things I'm going to need for this reading a thon including a nice cup of pomegranate oolong tea. Also got some comfy clothes on as well as the first book that I'm going to be reading. And for those of you who don't remember or who didn't watch my announcement video, uh, the first book I'll be reading is Once Upon a Dream, which is a twisted tale by Liz Braswell. I'm reading this one because it obviously has purple on the cover. It's a book I've been meaning to read for a very long time. And so I am very excited to read it. Um, so uh, how this is going to work is that I'm going to try and... Um, I won't be able to do a video every day because that's insane. Um, but I'm going to try and do like two or three days at a time. So I'll do like... Monday and Tuesday and then I'll put it up on Wednesday and Wednesday Thursday put it up on Friday I'm gonna really try and do that um, so yeah I'm really excited for this to get started alrighty so I'm only gonna read for maybe an hour tonight because I do actually plan on getting sleep this week <laughs> especially since I do have to work some of the days and I need to be like awake and alert and alive for that so I'm gonna not stay up super late reading most of these days, but I am gonna spend all of my free time reading, and you'll kinda get to see most of that. So, yeah. Tonight, I'm gonna read the first couple chapters, stay up a little bit, and go to bed. But I'll be up bright and early in the morning, so. Alrighty guys, it's now 12 o'clock, and I'm really excited to start reading. I haven't read any of these books yet. I haven't even started this one, so it'll be true. I consider the dragon. So I've officially read the first chapter of the first book, and we are five minutes into the day. I'm very excited. This is going to be a good book, I think. I hope. I think. Good morning, booktube. It is about almost nine in the morning. It's like 8.57 in the morning and I slept in much much later than I meant to but that just goes to show how tired and lazy of a human being I am and how this readathon is going to end up going. Uh, I'm sitting at my kitchen table with my book and a cup of tea. I'm already, I can already tell you that this is not going to be the book that I do the challenge read in one spot because I started this off last night um, only like 20 pages into it. I read two chapters and I fell asleep. I was just really tired. I had had a long day. So I fell asleep after the first two chapters. But it's a really good book, so I think I'll have no problem with it today. I don't have too much to do today, so I'll just be able to sit here or anywhere and read this book. I will definitely be doing another book for the challenge to sit in one place and read a book because that's just not happening with this one. Especially since I do have to go to a softball game tonight, and I'm really excited for that. And I will be taking my book along, but I probably won't read much at the game, because I tend to watch the game. So that'll definitely be not reading this book in one spot. Um, so I'm going to get started reading, and we'll see how this goes. Using the proper name for dance moves in ballet. I like it. I love it when anyone actually uses the name of the dance move the character is doing instead of like spinning, twirling, and leaping. Because like, even if that's really what it is and they're just spinning, twirling, and leaping having fun, I can understand that. But when they're trying to like actually do a dance routine or is actually trained in dance and then they use the actual French terminology, I enjoy that because I myself was a dancer for 12 years, so, yay! <laughs> I think I just figured out the plot, the whole, or the whole idea. So my guess, I'm only on page 23, but my guess is that Aurora's living in this happy castle with a wonderful Aunt Melissa, Maleficent who is 
ruling everything and she's twirling and dancing and singing but based on this one page I wonder if this is the dream and she needs to wake up from like this wonderful fantasy dream thing to actually go to the real world and I don't know maybe her parents are better people in the real world but that's my guess I don't know I'm on page 23 I'll read it and find out Okay, so I just finished another chapter. They're not chapter like one, two, three. They're just chapters. Um, but one thing, so I just finished another chapter. One thing that I remember about reading hardcovers is that the sleeve likes to come off while you're reading it and it's really annoying, especially since I do for the beginning and the end, I like using the little booklet sleeve as a bookmark for when I close the book. Not when I'm in the middle, because then it like wrecks it. But the thing is, this is such a pretty cover. I don't- excuse me. This is such a pretty cover, I don't know if I actually want to take the sleeve off. Because I mean, it's nice underneath, like it's still purple, so so if it's the challenge, don't worry. But I don't know if I want to take it off to make reading easier and then go get a bookmark or if I'm going to keep it on and deal with the constant movement of it. We'll have to see. I don't know. But that is a real struggle I have with like a lot of books. It's like some books, it's like I know I want to take the sleeve off. Like I like the look of books underneath without the sleeve and sometimes like if the cover's not that great then yeah I'll definitely go for that. But with other books that actually have like nice sleeve covers like this, it's a struggle because it looks nice and it feels nice, but sometimes it's a pain. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get some more tea, probably move to the living room or just a comfier space to read. Okay, update time. I'm on page 107 and my earlier prediction was correct. But I really like that idea. Um, I'm only, I'm almost a quarter of the way through the book, so I'm really glad that what I predicted um, wasn't a big, huge surprise. Like, it wasn't the middle of the book or end of the book twist. It was something that you kind of piece together and figure out along with the character. Um, so I'm happy that I didn't spoil anything for myself, but... I'm also happy that I was right because it's a really cool plot and interesting idea and I love how this is being done with the magic and all the little clues and everything. I'm really excited to keep reading. Um, one thing I notice about this book is that the the author has a lot of like narration and like description and just kind of thoughts and especially questions that the character is going through. which. Normally, I skip in books just because I want to get to the plot. I want to get to what's happening and things like that. But I'm not skipping any of it with this book. Like, I'm actually entertained by it and I really like it. So I'm really enjoying this book. And yes, I'm now sitting in the living room. So at this point, I've read this book in almost every major room of my house. <laughs> what can I say? I have a lot of comfortable spaces. Well, the dining room wasn't very comfortable. But it's not going to be the book that finishes that challenge. Anyway, I hope your reading is going great, and I'll come back to you when I'm farther along. Alrighty, hey guys, so right now it's about 12.51 in the afternoon, right afternoon, and I'm on page 259 of the book. I'm just over halfway, and I'm really enjoying it, I definitely think I'll be able to finish it today. It's like an easier read, so I'm able to read it very quickly, even though there's a lot happening and it's all very creative and really great. But for now, I'm actually going to take a quick break for lunch and then I'm actually going to do the video challenge for day one. And so that's going to be the next cut that I go to. But that's just an update on my reading. And if I can even finish this book today and it's not like 
tomorrow early in the morning, like one or two o'clock, I might actually start the next book just because I don't know how much time I'll actually have to read in upcoming days just with work and I actually have family coming into town over the weekend and I want to actually spend time with them so I'm going to try and get ahead of my schedule as pos as ahead of my schedule as possible. So far I only plan on reading five books and all of them will fulfill the challenges but if I can read seven books in seven days to fulfill that bonus challenge they have that would be absolutely amazing i don't know if i can but if i keep up with this pace i think i can um so yeah i'm just gonna take a quick break for lunch i don't know what i'm gonna eat i gotta figure that out and then i'm just gonna cut right to the challenge Alrighty, hey guys it's about time that i give you an update and the first one is is that i finished reading once upon a dream a twisted tale i finished it around 4 30 this afternoon so i literally sat in the chair in my living room and read this entire book except I didn't read it one spot I did read the first two chapters in my bedroom and one chapter in my dining room but I read the rest of this book it was 440 pages so I did get all that done today and I'm very happy about that at least even if it's only fulfilling one of the challenges I really enjoyed this book I love the twist on the tail because there's like the one major twist that the entire plot is, but then there are also a couple other like character differences within the main characters that I actually really enjoyed. Um, so yeah, book one down. I have two out of the seven challenges done. It has purple on the cover, and as I said before, I had gotten this book last Christmas, so I've had it for the two Christmases ago. I've had it for over a year. And I've been meaning to read it because it was a gift to me. And I finally did it. So that's two of the seven challenges done. And I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm going to start to read the next book. Which will be I Am Number Four. So I'm going to start to read the next book, I Am Number Four. I chose this one because it's the alien is the main character. So that's the non-human challenge. Uh, I actually haven't read this book. I remember it came out years ago and it was really popular and there was a ton of hype around it and I was like oh I gotta read it I gotta read it then I didn't so then I bought it I bought it on sale and then I still didn't read it so I'm finally gonna get to reading that I'm gonna start it tonight I'm gonna get a couple chapters into it go to bed pick it up tomorrow I'm really happy that I get to start it tonight though because I actually have to work tomorrow so I'm not gonna have as much time to read tomorrow as I did today I'm actually going to be doing a lot of things, even though today I did actually go to a softball game after I finished, and I went out for dinner with my family, so I still had, like, time with people, and that's why I'm not farther into this book. But now, it's time for the daily challenge. Alright, so if you don't know already, the day one video challenge is to choose a book that you have already read, put 30 seconds on the clock, as I have done here on my trusty Kindle, and spend those 30 seconds drawing a character. Now in order to determine the character, you're gonna open the book and it's the first character name that you see within the book. Now the book that I have chosen is The School for Good and Evil by Somam Chanani. I chose this book because the characters in here are very unique and have big personalities, so like drawing a character won't be that hard. I hope I'll be able to tell which character I'm drawing rather than looking like any other generic character, but at the same time, I'm a horrible artist. I don't draw in my free time. I, I don't ever draw. I still I still do coloring books, and I still fail at doing coloring room books. So um, this is not going to be the prettiest thing, but we're going to go with it, see where it goes. I also want to apologize if there's a fan in the background because we have an attic fan and it draws the air into our house because it's really hot. Um, but without further ado, let's get drawing. So new page. Agatha. Oh, Agatha, don't you know your fairy tales? Alright, so I have 30 seconds to draw Agatha. Okay. So the thing about Agatha, if you don't know this book, is that she it was feels like she's supposed to go to the school of evil, but she actually ended up going to the school of good. So how I'm going to draw her 
is her in the school of good because I chose the middle of the book so by that point she's in the school um, so she will be in like a nice dress even though that isn't her style so oh boy I'm just, I'm just trying to put this off because I oh oh no oh no that doesn't go there oh no Twenty seconds, and all I've done is a head and hair. Oh no! So that was thirty seconds. I spent way too much time on the head. And this is the end result. Yeah. No. And I did this on a whiteboard for this exact reason. So we never have to see that bad drawing again. Alrighty, hey guys, I'm gonna give you the last update of day one for the Reading Rush Readathon. Um, I had a very busy night. I went to out to dinner as I mentioned earlier and I went to a softball game and that was a lot of fun. Um, it is currently 1.21 in the morning so I know it's technically day two but I haven't gone to sleep yet so I'm not counting it. Um, but I am up this late because I've been working on the video and editing all of today's vlogs and just kind of getting it set up for tomorrow because tomorrow I work at both of my jobs in the morning and then at the evening, so I'm not going to have a lot of reading time and not a lot of editing time. So I've just been waiting for videos to upload and download and all that stuff. And while I've been waiting for that to happen, I moved on to the second book that I will be reading. I am number four. There it is. I am number four. Um, I am 49 pages into it already, I'm up to chapter 6, and I'm not going to read any more tonight, because as soon as this uploads, I'm going to sleep, because I have to be at work bright and early in the morning, and so, and that brings my total page count to 489 pages. That is what I read today, I'm pretty proud of that, yeah, that's pretty good for day one, and spending the first half of the day reading and then an hour waiting for things to upload and reading during that so but yeah i'm gonna go to bed now so i'll see you all for day two and have a great night get some sleep even if you're gonna read a lot actually get some sleep so that you can stay awake while you're reading because i am falling asleep on the page so good night